Hello everyone, it's Tony Mills from Energetic Wisdom. Today I'm going to talk about colds. Um, and I've talked about colds before and flu, and it's just that it's one thing that seems to persist uh, and seems to be very frequent all around us. And so I think I, I'm just going to reinforce it a bit about colds and bring in a bit, bit more information if we, if we can. Um, there's, there's a lot of hidden memories perhaps behind colds actually. Um, and also there can be too much going on at once. You'll notice very often a cold comes in when you feel a bit down, uh, energetically, mentally, emotionally, and it allows it to pour in really. And if you haven't got some kind of stable pattern in life, um, you're drifting a bit too. Um, so you can also be hanging on some old beliefs. One of the beliefs is that you get a cold every winter, okay? This, and then your body will say, oh, okay, I'll give you one of those. Um, there's some deeper feelings sometimes with um, an intense um, dissatisfaction and helplessness can, that's a really low feelings can bring in, that a cold is a great opportunity to come in when that happens. Because there's a kind of inner crying, because, uh, it cold, if you think about it, there's, there's mucus and, and it's releasing. And it's expressing those, those tears in a different way. Um, it's just that it's sometimes we find life a bit uh, kind of predictable and um, uncontrollable and you've got to go along with life. And there's a kind of helplessness with that and kind of overwhelm. And it's a great time when these colds come in because you are at a low point. And this is one of the secrets is to, to work on that side of things. It's just an expression of you, where you are. Um, it can even be feeling controlled by the weather and exterior circumstances. Um, that will also do it. Um, there can be an underlying suppressed despair as well. Um, because a helpless feeling is congestion, if you think about it. Uh, there's a, if you, uh, the body is literally tries to translate what's going on. So if you feel, literally feel congested, full of, um, full of mucus, full, just full, of, that's a kind of congestion, and that's a grief and sadness, those type of feelings that may not have been released, and it's slowly trying to get out some way or other. I mean, anger is infl inflammation. So that's another way that it expresses itself. So you've got both these things going on very often when there's a cold. And I just wanted to bring these points back to us because the colds are so frequent, aren't they? Um, and if you get colds frequently, the, there's kind of areas one needs to look at to see why you get them frequently and not just accepting them. You know, and here Stephen Horn said something here. He said that, um, uh, yeah, symptoms of the cold and flu aren't caused by virus. They are produced by immune system. Suppressing the sy symptoms is actually interfering with the body's ability to recover. You'll notice when um, the whole idea of a fever was to get the temperature so high it kills off the bugs. Okay, that was the whole idea of it. And so by suppressing things like, uh, you know, antibiotics can do that, can suppress things. Um, the body hasn't got the ability to release. Um, uh, we don't, you know, so he says, don't fight the symptoms, stop eating, cut down on eating, uh, but just eat a lot of good, green, healthy fruit and veg, okay? Not, not, not a lot of fatty stuff. Definitely that will hold everything in and drink plenty of fluids, definitely water, celery juice and fruit juice and whatever, and all natural stuff, can cut down the sugars as well. And if you can replace it, this is calling Stephen Horn, who is a herbalist as well, he says aromatic and pungent herbs to help your body flush out the irritants. And um, Stephen Horn is a herbalist, and he's stephenhorn.com, he's in the States, I think you've got a good one, that's Caroline Daniel in, in the UK here in, in Cheshire. I'm sure she can um, help you with that too. 
So if you can bring in as much of the natural stuff as possible, because the, the, uh, the artificial or the, the non-natural stuff actually can suppress it and also uh, add complications sometimes. Uh, and so allow this to come out. And if you can look at the feelings behind it and uh, to fo focus on your value and being in a better place, then the cold doesn't need to express itself. Okay. So um, that was just a brief one. I, I've, I've done, I did another video on, I think, flu and, and cold. So I'll put another blog in and add a few things in here just for, to kind of reinforce this. So um, thank you for looking in here. Nice to see people being, yeah, great. Hi there. Uh, any questions on this or if any way I can help, then please uh, come back to me. So it's, uh, you'll have all the information um, on, the, on the panel there. It's energetic-wisdom.co.uk. Um, and um, yeah, look forward to speaking again. I, I was thinking perhaps next time I'll talk about scoliosis. I've got a, a, a really good insight into scoliosis. Okay. Okay, bye everyone. Talk to you again. Okay, bye.